from sardines on the beach, keep it simple, to Diego Gallegos, who's a Michelin star chef here. So your restaurant is just below us. Yes. Are you seeing a recovery in the business at the moment? Because it's been pretty bad. Yes, it was bad times, but now with the frontiers open, the clients from outside Spain are coming a lot. And they're working very well. Uh, we are fully booked 15 days after. Really? Yes, yes. You're very fully booked? Fully booked. Fully booked. And I hope it continues like that when finish the summer, because I hope everybody will be v v vaccinated and the people continue to travel. What was it like last year? How yeah. bad was it? It was too bad. Too bad, but... Uh, what we, the most important for us is keeping our, our team, okay? Uh, we make the, we start, you continue with them, and now open, and everything works fine. But it was bad days, we lost so a lot of money, but... You, you lost a lot of money last year. Yes. But, but keeping your team so that when you reopened, you still had employees, they came back. Your employees came back. Yeah, they came back. They came back because here in Spain they gave very helps for the for us for the for the restaurants, and with that we continue with our team. That help was essential, wasn't it? That government help was very important. Are you worried about this year, Delta variant, new wave of COVID? Are you worried? We are worried the the, the last two months of the year. Because uh, it's very, uh, we don't know what will happen with these varieties, and I, we don't know if the vac if everybody vaccinates, the different kinds of uh, COVID will come and uh, touch everybody. But uh, we have to be uh, grateful because now in summer you can work and you can make money to uh, stay in winter very calm. Okay, I cannot be here and not talk about actually the food of Spain, which of course is 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 magnificent. And you're saying you're fully booked? Yeah. Right, he's fully booked, so I can't get a table. <laughs> Simple as that. I couldn't get a table even if I wanted to, but they brought the food to me. That's the way it works. What have we got? I'm going to choose uh, the specialty of your restaurant is caviar, okay? Mm. So this is a caviar from Granada, from oh, Spain. What a shame. What okay, a shame. so I'm, you can taste alone if you want. Oh, no, they never eat alone. Okay. So uh, this we put with a little mm. bit of fresh tuna mm. from the south of, of uh, Andalusia, and you can taste with the spoon. And this is the very traditional course from, from Spain called the gazpacho that you oh, make with the green apple. Now you're talking. Mm -hmm. Just, mm, that's very good. We just work here with organic products because yeah. we are very proud of the products that you have here in, in the area. So mm -hmm. we potential all and use these uh, zero kilometer products. Well, that's very good. Excellent. Do you think you will do well this year? Will you manage to survive and go through to the winter and into next year, do you think? I'm, uh, of course. Of course we will survive because now, after pass everything, we do our work nice and we are making the numbers with uh, the pain and ev uh, euro by euro to, to take and uh, to survive to the next season. To survive, survive to the next season. We can all drink to that. To survive to the next season. <laughs> Tuna from Spain and a bit of caviar on top. Oh. <laughs> now, who's paying the bill? Oh, no, we couldn't get a table. <laughs> we'll have a profitable moment. Hmm. Profitable moment after the break, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.